as shown in the section on rows, there's lots that can be done with the rows or columns of a pivot table. If you look at the section on rows, everything that could be done in rows can be done in columns. So for example, if I rather put my information in rows, in columns, sorry, you'll notice to me it's not that neat, but for now perhaps you have a need for it. Everything you could have done in the rows section can be done in the columns. So notice I can click on the drop down, I've got all these options, I've got the value filters, I can do the top 10. I can sort, if I right click on either one, I go to field settings, you'll notice I have the ability to control these subtotals over here. I can repeat item labels, so let's do that. If I repeat it, notice January appears there. So everything that you could do under rows, you can do under columns. It's just a matter of deciding which way you want the pivot table to go. What you can see is when you start combining columns and rows, that's when it becomes very useful. You can easily do something like that, and it may provide a bit of information, and then maybe we can add some other items on, so perhaps day of the week. And you'll see it's fairly easy to create quite meaningful reports by just playing between the rows and the columns.